back to another weekly vlog today it is monday it's almost 6 30 in the morning i woke up at 5 and showered and then had my quiet time for me my quiet time is just when i spend time with jesus so like when i read my bible and when i pray and just kind of start my day off the right way but like i said it's almost 6 30 and today i want to have a super productive day i have a lot of stuff i want to get done so i want to get into stuff really early this morning so i'm about to go to my parents house to feed the dog and the cat because my parents are on a little holiday at the moment so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to head straight to probably came up first i need to pick up one thing and i'm gonna go in get that and get out and then i'm going to go grocery shopping and a lot of you guys ask me how i meal prep how i plan my groceries how i know what i'm getting how i know what i'm eating all of that sort of stuff especially as a younger person who's living out of home i can understand how if you're just moving out of home or you're thinking about moving out of home how you might be wanting to know how to do that so i will show you guys i go grocery shopping twice a fortnight i do one like big shop where i get like most things I need and then I just go once again when I need some more fresh produce because for me that doesn't always last two weeks and I like my fresh produce to be fresh so I do go twice a fortnight so like basically once a week but the second shop that I do is a lot smaller and it's usually just fresh produce or some milk or something so on my iPad I have this thing called good note they have like a bunch of different like templates and things and I just picked one of their weekly planner little things they have this is what it looks like when you just like have it and you could totally make this on your computer or you could draw it out like handwrite it but it's just easy to do it on my iPad here so that's what it looks like when I first have the page and then I just like color code it so I've broken it up into two weeks so you got what week one and then week two and then I've got what I'm eating for breakfast lunch and dinner and then snacks down the bottom there and then I use that to write my grocery list and I write it on my phone and I use the app called to do ist I will try and like link the apps that I or at least like write the names of the apps down below if I can remember and I organize it into where everything is but I just find this app very easy to do because as soon as you tick something off it disappears and that means that I only see the stuff that I still need to get when I'm out grocery shopping whereas if I do it on the notes app it just has like little ticks next to it and it's harder and I just find that if I do it on my phone I always remember to bring this with me whereas when I write it on a list like handwrite it on a piece of paper I often forget to bring the list with me so this is really good and I can also add things throughout the week like if I run out of milk I can just add it on here and it's there for when I want to go shopping at the end of the week so very helpful but a lot of you guys ask me if I eat the same thing a lot or if I make different meals every night and for me I usually make like two or three dinner meals over the fortnight so this fortnight some nights I'm gonna have fish and salad some nights I'm gonna have butter chicken and some nights I'm gonna have red curry so those are the things that I'm having this week or this fortnight I should say and then my lunches are usually a lot more simple so I usually have like wraps or a chicken salad or they're usually pretty simple or I can even just have some toast or something and then for breakfasts Honestly, a lot of the time I'm not at home for breakfast because I leave the house by 5.30, like four or five days a week. So I usually have like breakfast biscuits, which is not ideal, but it's just realistic for me at the moment at this stage of life that I'm in but if I am home for breakfast I love having avocado toast or like yogurt with muesli but that's basically what I do I just kind of have whatever I'm feeling and although I write my meals down like when I'm having specific things I can always switch it around it's more just so that I know which ingredients I need to buy so that I have everything that I need to have dinner and lunch and breakfast over the next two weeks so I can do a whole in-depth video where I take you guys like grocery shopping fully and then meal prep with you and explain it all a little bit more in depth but hopefully that gives you guys a little insight as to what I do but I've got to go feed the pets go to Kmart go grocery shopping so let's go guys Kmart has their 2020 diaries out at the moment like their plan is and I'm definitely getting one I've had the same one for the past couple years and I love it It's now 7.30 and I've finished grocery shopping, which is awesome. So I'm going to head home and I'll probably show you guys a little grocery haul and then I will put that stuff away and get started on my work for the day. So productive morning, going well. Grocery haul. Firstly, we have a rock melon or a cantaloupe. When I moved to Queensland from Melbourne, everyone called it rock melon and I was like, what? And then I used to call it cantaloupe and everyone would make fun of me because I didn't think it was called that. But whatever floats your boat. I got some carrots to just go in, salads and 
the meals this week. I got my breakfast biscuits. These are my favorite ones, honestly, and they don't have a lot of sugar compared to some other ones that exist. They have like half the amount of a lot of other ones. These ones are the honey and oat crunch. Any of the ones that have like fruit in them or like other flavors are usually like full of sugar. So I usually just go with like the plain ones, I guess. Got some cheese, got some milk. I have some frozen mango, some frozen pineapple and some bananas for smoothies. I also needed to get some more barbecue sauce because I had run out and some more hummus because mine had expired, which was really sad because I went to go use it the other day and I couldn't eat it. I also just got some chicken I got my favorite bread. I love this for avocado toast. It's amazing. And then I have a cucumber, a capsicum, some cherry tomatoes, some beans in here. You guys can't even see them. And then I got my favorite apples, which are jazz apples. And that is everything I got. All of that cost me about $70. And for a fortnight, that's like $35 a week, which is great for me. I'm very happy with that. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some work done now. Little bit of an update. It is 10.40. I just exported a video. I had to do a bit of filming. I edited that whole video. And I did the thumbnail, which is great. I'm glad I got that done. But it took me a long time. Now I'm just having a little bit of a snack. This is a little smoothie. And I just put some granola on top as well. It's just banana, pineapple, mango, and yogurt. So I'm just gonna eat this as a snack, gonna do some uni work for a couple hours, and then I'm gonna head off to uni because I have a lecture this afternoon at two. I had some lunch and now I'm heading off to uni. I do have to check my PO box on the way, but nothing too exciting. This is my outfit of the day. Super simple. I just wanted something that I didn't really have to think about. I haven't actually brushed my hair this morning. I'm just wearing it in a scrunchie because I can't be bothered. <laughs> my shirt is from Kmart from the pajama section because it's actually pajamas, but it's just like a stripey kind of pattern and it's so soft and comfy. Then I'm wearing my favorite jeans from Nasty Gal and my Burks. And that's the outfit. It is about 5 p.m. I think. Georgia is at work till 6 and then we actually have Skay and Izzy coming over and I'm so excited to see them. I think they're just gonna come over, we're just gonna hang out, probably grab some food. But they're coming over at 6.30, so I have like an hour and a half to try and get some stuff done. I'm gonna try and be productive. I think I'm gonna do some meal prep with some of the things that I bought today at the grocery store because if I get that done, it'll just make my life quite easy for the rest of the week. I try and use Sundays and Mondays as much as I can to get stuff prepped for the week so then during the week I can focus on like uni and YouTube and friends. Do I have a social life? Unsure, but I also find it really helpful if I get home from uni or work or wherever I've been and I kind of try and get the rest of my stuff done for the rest of the day. As soon as I get home, I don't sit down, I don't chill out because as soon as I sit down, I won't want to get back up again. So if I come home and just smash those things out, then I can relax for the rest of the night without having those thoughts that I need to do other things while I'm trying to relax. So that's the plan, let's go. So I've been cooking for a while and I'll show you what I've done. So over here, I just made some spiced chicken that I use throughout the week in a bunch of different stuff. I use it in salads, in wraps. Actually, that's basically it. Oh, I make like homemade pizzas sometimes and add this on top. It is so good. Then I just have some cut up capsicum, which you guys just saw. But over here, we have a full station going on. So over here, I'm making some Thai red curry. I need to add some coconut milk to that and then some veggies. I'm gonna add capsicum, beans, maybe some, no, maybe not some spinach to that one. Broccoli, and this one is butter chicken. So this one I've added some tomatoes, like little chopped up cherry tomatoes into. I'm also gonna add some broccoli, probably some beans, some spinach into this one. And then over here, I've obviously got my beans steaming and then under that, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Got some broccoli, like heaps of broccoli, because I love broccoli. And here I just have my a little tea, raspberry and strawberry. Very excited about it. I honestly find it so much easier to bulk cook things, so like meal prepping, but a bunch of different meals at once. Cause I've just done chicken for my lunches and then I'm cooking up like two different dinners. It'll just be so easy. Look who is here. 
They, I, okay, can I just say that when we announced that we were moving, I think there were more sad people than there were happy. Like, everyone was really sad that we were ditching no, you guys. I did read the comments when I watched the video. Do you miss us? Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because we said you so much before. <laughs> That's what we said, and I don't think people, like, understand how much we didn't see each other. No, like, like, when you yeah. think of living together, you think of seeing each other all the time, but, like, but we really we're didn't. But, now, and I'm like, oh, yeah. We're but like, even just the like, fact of, like, at the old place, knowing that, like, you're in your room, but, like, they're here, but, like, they're there if I want to have a chat. Or, like, but, like, she's going to come out a little bit and fill up a water bottle or do something, so I'll go out for a cheeky chat. <laughs> I don't think I've talked to you yet today, but I've showed you a little bit of what I've been up to. As you saw, I was at uni and now I'm home. It's actually like 5 p.m. So I've been home for like a couple hours, literally just crossing things off my to-do list, getting stuff done like dishes and cleaning and emails and random stuff like that. I can actually tick another thing off my to-do list. I've been using this little whiteboard to do my to-do list and it's been really helpful. I just feel very satisfied when I get to like rub something off, but I do still have a couple things on my to-do list. So I need to do those. Currently having a little plant party in the bathroom um they all needed to be watered and i just find it super easy to pop them in the shower and then just water them all at once and then once they're all like a little bit more dry i'll put them back in their spots i'm about to head over to my parents house to feed the dog and the cat and just um check over their place they've actually been in europe for the past month i think they went to england spain paris greece uh, and left me at home obviously very salty about it but like whatever it's fine they've been sending me pictures like every day of all the incredible things they've been doing and i'm like okay that's great i'm just gonna sit here and continue writing my assignment it's fine but since they've been gone for a month i'm just gonna go and see how their plants are doing i'm going to just tidy up the place i actually bought them some flowers so they come home to some flowers at home but i need to go do that and i like doing that before i get stuck because i hate being in like a big house when it's all dark and just like whatever but i think that's really all i have to update you guys on it's been a riveting day in the rachel catherine household and by riveting i mean absolutely nothing interesting happening so that's great good morning friends it is thursday today and i'm actually going on a super exciting trip drive today ah! becky and giorgio are here <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and we're heading off to Noosa because we're invited by Supray to go and check out their new summer line, which is really exciting. They've got a little boat party in Noosa, and I'm honestly really excited. We have a bunch of our YouTube friends going as well, and so we get to hang out with them as well. So it'll just be such a lovely afternoon. We're going up a bit earlier so we can just like have some lunch by the beach, hang out, make it a bit of a girls' day instead of just an event. So. Very exciting stuff. I will be changing into a Supre outfit a bit later, but I do want to get some other content while I'm putting effort into what I look like. So this is just a little play suit from Princess Polly, which I absolutely love, but we're about to head off. Gonna be such a fun day, fun day off. I got to have work off today so I could go to this. So living my best life, truly. <laughs> So it's super windy, so I look like a mess and I don't know how much you can hear me. But we're actually at the boat. They have an actual Supreme boat, which is really crazy. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is Friday and I'm back at uni. My life is so wild. Like yesterday I was on a boat with Supre and this morning I'm going to my psychological research and evaluation class. So love that for me. I had so much fun at the Supre event yesterday. They did the most amazing job. The boat looked incredible. The whole event was amazing. And every like staff member or like person that I talked to who was from Supre or from any of the brands that they brought along like Frank Body or The Fifth got a new watch crazy stuff it was so lovely like so nice so a huge shout out to the people who were actually like working at the event because they were just the kindest easiest people to work with and just like if you had a problem they were just so willing to help you out which i just really appreciate but the new supray summer collection is 10 out of 10 i will definitely be making some purchases when some more stuff comes out because they've got really cute stuff and it was also so good to catch up with my youtube friends like connor and millie and ella and meet some new people i met some really awesome people and just like people that i know of and i'm like they have no idea who i am but i'm now talking to them which is insane and everyone was so lovely but i do want to say thank you to you guys because if it wasn't for 
you guys. I wouldn't have half the friends that I have now because I've met them all through YouTube. And I also just wouldn't be even invited to these sort of events without your support and without you guys kind of giving me the time of day and watching my videos. So I just want to say thank you so much. And, and I'm so glad that I can take you guys along the journey with me. And I hope that I never become one of those people who thinks it's like they made it by themselves because it's literally all because of you. So there's my little sappy tangent for the day. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll try and bring you along. Guys, side note, this is my second last week at uni. I have one week and one day. This is the one day left of uni classes. Then I have exams, but like only after this week, there's only one more college week in my life. What the heck? Mind blown. <laughs>if they could suppress it all. Yeah, their ability to enhance or suppress. Yeah. And then there was like one condition where they told no one was looking at them, but I think they were to see. So they based it on what they rated on the scale and then how they look. Like there must be something else happening because otherwise yeah. that condition Would is that just unnecessary. No yeah. Guys. <laughs> just got back to my car it is nine o'clock my class started at eight and it was supposed to go for two hours and then i was the only person who showed up the only person who showed up to my class our class is like generally pretty small because it's 8 a.m on a friday like no one wants to be here at 8 a.m on a friday but um i really like early morning so it works well for me but literally no one showed up so it was just me and the tutor which was like not awkward, but it was just like a bit intimidating, I guess. But he's a really nice tutor and I really like him. He's probably like my favorite tutor at the moment. Just because he actually like cares about what he's teaching. So that's really awesome. And it was a good class. I got to like ask heaps of questions and get myself all prepared for the exam and whatever. But I just can't believe that I was the only person who showed up. Got a little bit of footage for you guys. But like I said, I think earlier this morning, that was my psychological research and evaluation class. Very interesting, to be honest. But yeah, I'm gonna head home, go to my PO box on the way home, pick up a package or two, and then I have an assignment I wanna like complete today, if I can. I also have to go to Kmart to pick up a new ox cord because mine literally broke, so that's not good. I just got home from uni and uh, <laughs> I have some packages. A company, like a home decor company, messaged me on Instagram, was like, hey, we'd love to send you some stuff. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. They've sent me so much stuff and I have no idea what it is, so I'm very excited. This genuinely feels like Christmas. And I have this little box and then I have this big box. It's a bit heavier. Oh my gosh, how cute! Oh. I'm gonna unwrap everything and then show you because this is taking me a sec. Guys, can we just take a minute to recognize that there was no plastic in this entire package? No plastic. That's amazing. And they packaged everything so well and nothing was cracked, nothing was ruined. That's so freaking cool. So here are the things they sent me. I'm obsessed with everything. I think it's so beautiful. This is a little teapot slash teacup that I showed you guys. I love the packaging on this. Giving me major like grandma vibes, but modern grandma vibes, if that makes any sense. I love that. Then we have this little set here. So I have a bowl and a couple plates. I love this mug. I think the detail of it is just so beautiful and such a cool shape too. Then we have this little collection. This is kind of like lopsided, which I love. I think this is a little coaster and I think that's beautiful and it matches the little mug, which I'm also obsessed with. My favorite colors. We could even display this in our kitchen because those are the colors that our kitchen is. And then this little collection. We love these types of bowls in our house that are like the really large, almost like in between a bowl and a plate. These will be so beautiful for Instagram photos as well. And these are so cool. I love Love, love, love these. And then they sent me a few tea towels. So they both came in a set of two. I love the flowery patterns on these ones. It reminds me of a very like Australian pattern, which I think is so beautiful. Like the wattle and like, oh, I love that. I love that. And then this one, which is so cute, is from their like Blinky Bill collection. And not only is this just adorable, but also it matches the theme of our kitchen so perfectly because these are the colors that we have in there. So as you can tell, I'm pretty obsessed with everything. Again, I'll leave their links all down below so you guys can check them out. I'm not being sponsored or paid to say anything. They were just like, hey, can we send you some stuff? And I was like, sure thing but I need to go get into some more uni work for the rest of the day so I'll talk to you guys later hey friends so it's a few hours later now and I changed into some comfy clothes put my hair up feeling good I've had a pretty productive morning but in saying that 
I've kind of been procrastinating. I have an assignment due Sunday that I really want to finish off today. I'm like halfway through it, but I think that if I just sit down and smash it out, I could finish like most of it, if not all of it. And when I say procrastinating, I have been doing productive things. Like I did my washing. I did a huge like clean and tidy up. My room is very neat. I feel like obviously it looks a bit cluttered because of the wardrobe, but like there's nothing on the floor or my clothes are put away. After the event yesterday, my room was just a mess. So I ticked off so many things on my to-do list, but I really just need to sit down and smash out this assignment. Like that's the one thing that I actually really should be doing. So I've just come into my room and I'm putting my phone on charge here. It's low on charge, but also if it's in here on charge, then I can't touch it because I'll be in my office. So it's almost 1.30 and I want to at least sit down for one hour without touching any social media, without getting distracted, without looking at online shopping, without doing any of that. And then I'll take like a five, 10 minute break and then do at least another hour and we'll see how far I get. Cause I honestly don't think it'll take me too long if I sit down without any distractions. So I'm removing all the distractions. I've had a snack, I've got water on my desk, I've put my phone here charging, like there's nothing I could get up to do. Or well, at least nothing I should. I don't have any excuses. So, we're gonna try this. We're gonna see if it works. And I'm gonna get this assignment done. <laughs> My camera battery died, but I worked until 2.45, I think, and then took a break, and now it's 3, and now I'm back in business. I'm happy with the progress that I'm making. I'm sorry if you can hear the birds in the background, they're super loud. I don't want to explain the whole assignment to you because it's kind of complicated, but basically we had to hand in an assignment and then they gave us feedback and then our second submission of the assignment is like fixing up all the feedback we got. And I got 47 pieces of feedback. I feel like it sounds like a lot, but in the context of this assignment, it's really not that bad. And so I've been obviously slowly going through those and fixing up every little comment and every little piece of criticism that I got. So at the moment I've done 35 and so I only have like 12 left to do but they are some of them are kind of bigger ones so I'm gonna keep going till 5 but then I'm gonna sign off for the day because I really do want to have at least an hour to myself where I can shower and get ready before I have to go to youth tonight um, because if I don't give myself that little bit of time beforehand to like watch some YouTube and just like chill out I'll be really stressed tonight and then I have a really big weekend and I just won't have time to stop so I really like to give myself one hour on Friday afternoons at least, just to like sit and chill and prepare myself for the weekends because they're usually pretty hectic. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's keep working. It probably looks like it's been no time at all or like it's been like two seconds, but it's now five. And I didn't completely finish my assignment, which is a bit annoying, but I'm so close. So like I told you guys, I had 47 pieces of feedback that I needed to fix up and now I've done 43. So I have four more to do. Two of them I'm not completely sure about and then two of them I can do pretty quick now. But I just did like four or five of them that took me a lot longer than I thought because I needed to do a bunch more research to actually fix the feedback that they had given me. Which is fine, like I knew I would have to do that at some point, but it just took more time than I thought it would take. But I know that I need to go shower, I need to go get my clothes off the line, I need to do some things that just need to be done. But this isn't due till Sunday and I'm almost done, so I'm not too stressed about it. I just would have loved to finish it all by now. But if I get all my stuff done and then I feel like I'm well rested enough before I go to youth, maybe I'll do a little bit more, like 20 minutes to half an hour extra if I can find the time to do it. But I know that I also need to look after myself and my house, so <laughs> I'm gonna go do those things. Thanks for coming along. I don't know if this is interesting at all, explaining my my assignments to you guys but hopefully it is I really thought I filmed more than this, but I guess I didn't. But I was just editing this video and I never filmed an outro. What's new? I hope you guys did enjoy this week in my life. It was a bit of a longer one. If you guys like longer videos, let me know. But in saying that, I'm asking this at the end of the video. So I feel like the people who enjoy long videos have watched to the end and they'd be the ones requesting long videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.